Hello, I'm Adrian from Proactive AV. This is the Exine Designer and today I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to create something like this so you can put it on your display screens and show it in offices or public areas. So once you've downloaded the software, we open it and you're going to click onto New Project. Once you're in your project, you want to name your project, so I'm going to name it Exine Demo. We'll keep the resolution the same. Click on Confirm. If we click on the left, you'll see that you've got some basic tools here. These are all good for when you're designing. If I then go into the second folder, this is where all your widgets are. And I'll go through a few of these in a moment and show you how quick and simple it is to add these. And this one is where you find all the templates. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use this template. So if I click on it, it will bring the template up. And as you can see, it's got some information in there already but I want to change this to make it personal to me. So to start off with, I'm going to click on this box, highlight it and delete that. And then I'm going to go into my widget, video slideshow. So click on that, bring in the box, and then I can move the box and reshape it to whatever size I want. And then once I've got that shape, I can click on the plus, and then I'm now going to go and find where I've stored my video. There's the video that I want, double click on it, and the video appears in the box. So if I now go over to the right hand side, I can decide if I want the video to fit the box, which I do, and I can see that the playing time of this video is 5 minutes and 37 seconds. So next I'm going to click on here and then double click to get inside it, highlight it, and then I can change that text into whatever I want. Then once again, if I go over to the right, I can decide what colour I want this text. So I'm going to make it a blue colour. Confirm that. And then I can also, if I want to, change the font. So now I'm going to change this text also. And I'm going to put our phone number in there instead. And if I scroll down, I can also change the background colour. So this box at the bottom, I'm going to get rid of it completely. And then I'm going to go back to my widgets and I want to add some image slideshows. So click on it, place the box where I want it, resize it, and then if I click on the plus, I'm going to go back into my files. I'll just choose all of these. And then these images now populate that square. I can, if I want to, change them to fill the box or just have part of it showing, but I want them more to fit so I can see the whole image. And then if I click on the first image and scroll down, I'm going to do a different transition for each image. Or you can just click apply to all images and it will do the transition for all the images. So this shows the time. So I'm going to change that to seven seconds for each image. You can add QR codes. So if I just put in our own website address. And then once I've got that QR code, I'm now going to place it. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Bring the text box down, double click inside it, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of information. So I'm going to repeat the process with the images, just bring in another box. So now I'm going to add the weather, and then once I've got it in the place that I want it, I'll come again over to the right, and I want to do this manually. So now I'm going to type in where we are in the UK. Confirm it, and then the weather will change to the current weather. Just going to quickly change this to school values, and then all this I don't particularly want, so I'm going to drag all over it, select everything, press delete, and now I'm going to add in some text there instead. Double click and paste, and then again I'm just going to resize it, make it a little bit larger so it fills the box, and that's how simple it is to make a page. So once we've saved it, we send it over to the BenQ portal. I log in, I click on X sign, and I can see that I have two different signage screens. So I'm going to choose one of them, and now I'm going to schedule my page to show on that screen. So I'm going to do it for Friday, the 4th of March, and I'll start at 10 a.m. So I'm going to call it School Info, and then I go to pick the page, click on confirm. I'm going to make that run from 10 till 12.30. Keep it as normal, submit, 
and then within a few minutes we'll start displaying on the screen.